interest. <laughs> I was listening to the news. Hey, it's me. The N to the J to the B. Listen, I'm a little more uh, scattered even than I am usually. If you can believe that. Now, don't hurt my feelings and tell me you can't tell. But first of all, oh, Lord. Oh, that help me, help me. First of all, okay, I'm headed to... My phone is talking. No, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, I'll be back. What is happening? Oh, anyway, it's supposed to be doing GPS and it's not. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. So... Not only did I only get like maybe two hours of sleep. Uh, Turn left and then keep left. All right, all right. Um, I got about two hours of sleep last night, which was not my intention. I just, oh shoot, am I in the wrong place? I am, I am, I am. Oops, I gotta do it this way. Uh, what the heck? Yep, I'm right now. Well, left. I. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> it's me, the N to the J to the, <laughs> to the B, or whoever I am. I didn't get much sleep last night. On top of that, I realized that I also didn't take my medication yesterday, any of it. The ADHD medication, the anti anxiety medication. I do vaguely remember taking allergy medicine in the morning. Yeah. So. Uh, and I couldn't take it at night because then it would keep me up all night. But turns out I was up all night anyway. So here I am. I have taken my medicine this morning. But what happens when I don't take... Oh, shoot. I forgot lip balm. Oh, no. I'm out here. So I'm going to get this mammogram, right? I know I've, I've changed course a few times. But uh, I was putting deodorant under my arm after my shower. And I realized... Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to put deodorant on. Keep so they, left. They tell you not to put any deodorant or creams on your upper body. So now I'm, you know, scrubbing vigorously <laughs> trying to get the deodorant off. And uh, now I'm out here. I have, I have no makeup on. I got no deodorant on. I got no lip balm on. <sighs> well, let me turn this heat off because <laughs> I can't be out here ashy. Uh, and musty. <laughs> oh, okay, so no sleep, no medication, and the way that I can tell that I, I didn't have any medication because if I forget, I forget, right? Um, I can either I either have it I have it in one of those pill bottles, you know, pill boxes that has all the days. I have one that's. Uh, um, large enough for a month but the nature of ADHD is such <laughs> that um, I don't always keep that filled like I should fill it once a month preferably on the first day of the month or you know anytime on a consistent basis but I'm not great at consistency which you have also seen in my YouTube channel nature of the beast now I know why it happens which is why being diagnosed late in life, like as an you know, as an adult who's been an adult for a while, that's considered late in life. I'm glad I know what it is now because I used to just wonder, like, what is wrong with me? Well, well, that's that's what it is. So, with all the with the traveling back here and just being scattered, <laughs> I I did not feel it. So I'm like looking in the little spare pill thing. Like, do I have any pills? That's what's going on right now until I fill it. And I just forgot yesterday. And I knew for sure. Uh, last night, I suspected that I forgot. And then this morning, when I started feeling the little zaps in my head, it literally feels like... Uh, have you ever put your tongue to... A battery, those square batteries. Is that a C battery? I think it's a C battery. And you feel that little zap? 
it feels like that, but in your brain when, when you don't take this medicine. It's unpleasant at best. And then if I don't take my medicine, then I get a headache, like a horrible headache. So uh, I took it, I hope it gets into my system quickly enough to avoid this horrible headache, but I am feeling the zaps like, you know, just, it's, it's like, like your brain is being reset. I tell you this, if you can manage, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park down here by the elevator. If you can manage ADHD without medication or anxiety without medication, um, even depression, any, any brain thing without medication, do so. Do it if you can. Not everybody can, and not everybody can all the time. Um, it may be that sometimes your your symptoms are. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna park, and my hair done fell down. Oh, help me, help me! I don't want to park down there. I don't want to park down there. Oh Lord! Okay, go back up and hope this works out. Cause I do not want to park all the way in the basement. Oh no, I'm backing up like this and my brain is doing the zap thing. This is not a good time. I'm going to tell you. If you don't need medication, don't take it. Um, I don't want to be on it. I was off of it for a long period of time until it became impossible. <laughs> I'll say impossible. I don't say many things are impossible, but it was impossible for me to manage my life. You know, deadlines, bills, uh, relationship, like nothing. Like keeping my, my apartment clean, which it isn't right now. Here, I'll just take the thing out. It was impossible for me to manage my life without med medication. So I don't like it. Um, yeah, it's not a good time. As anybody who's been on the medication knows. So, like, I hear sometimes people talking about, you don't need medication. It's a scam. Da, 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 da. I'm going to tell you <laughs> why that is not helpful at all. It's not helpful because most of the people on medication for their brain, not functioning properly or doing something weird, um, neurodivergence or whatever it is, and not on medication because it's a good time. It's not. It's not a high. It's not. Yeah, it ain't a party for my brain. And I do wonder, like long term, because um, I think I've been on medication more of my adult life than I've been off of it, to be quite honest. Long term, what does that do? We don't know. I don't know. And even if even if the medical establishment knows, I don't trust them to tell the truth. See, it, it, yeah, I just felt the zap. All right, where the heck is the elevator? Stairs to the elevator. All right. Here we go. So we are going. Elevator lobby. Oh, man. Well, I can, oof. Yeah, I'm getting those zaps. I can take you as far as the elevator, but I can't go in the clinic filming. So this is where I am, UCLA Health. Thank God, thank God. <laughs> Did I say that already? Thank God that I have earned my health insurance for another until July 2025. I am so fortunate. Um, I will come back here for for my mammograms and checkups and stuff like that. It's that important to me. All right, let me turn this off. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, I'm doing a voiceover on this part because I was recording on the sly, but I love the decor in here. In a minute, I'm going to get up and go over here and show you. Look at that. Look at that. And... 
the radio, uh, you might have to pause it and see some of the decor, but the, the radiology technician who did the mammogram told me that it's all based on Harry Potter uh, decor. But I love it when I'm in there and I'm like, oh my goodness, I so love this place. Also, I think I want a picture of a chandelier in my new condo, maybe in pink. All right, here I am in the dressing room. Assisted and lost a few pounds, you know what I'm saying? It happens when I go to Mexico because I'm eating real food. Uh, seems like LA is trying to put it back on me, but that's all right, that's all right. This is what the room looks like. And there's my junk in the little locker. Got my own key that I take with me, so don't nobody steal my stuff while I'm getting my mammogram. Lock it on up, girl. There, there we go. go. This. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> More decor. All right, the deed is done. And I put my clothes back on and now I'm headed back to the elevator. Recording on the slide. I'm gonna miss my car. Hmm. All right, it's done. Um, for some people I know mammograms are, uh, they say it's very, very painful. For me, it's, un it's uncomfortable. I mean, it ain't my favorite thing in the world to do, but uh, for the potential payoff of catching uh, breast cancer early, it is not for me because everybody's got a different pain threshold and I got a low threshold for pain like if you look like you about to do something painful to me I'm out <laughs> I don't want no part of it um, but I personally wouldn't call it painful I would just say it's it's uncomfortable it's uncomfortable um, I wouldn't even say unpleasant it's neither pleasant nor unpleasant it's, it's just something that that you know that I have to do okay I am hungry and I'm thirsty. I'm just gonna stop at Starbucks and pick up a croissant. And um, why? I feel like I'm all up in the camera. Wait, hold on for a minute. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but here we go. I'm gonna go to Starbucks, grab a croissant and an iced. I don't know if I'm gonna take a nap. Do I really need? an iced latte. Maybe I'll get an iced decaf latte. Yeah, and then I can still, like, I need I need some sleep. Nothing really replaces sleep. <clears throat> um, and then I'm gonna go back to the crib and I'm going to do work around there. I also, there's some things that I, I've been here a week now and one of the first things that I was supposed to do when I got back here is to mail off my passport because I can't go back to Mexico with my passport as is. Um, they want me to have, they want everybody to have at least six months remaining on their passport before it expires. And mine expires in May. So that's like four months. <laughs> So I gotta handle this immediately and without delay. So I need to handle that before I take a nap. But let me go get my drink and my little piece of bread and go home, handle this and uh, and see when I just crash. Cause I gotta go to sleep. I have to go to sleep. I need to go to, to CVS and pick up a prescription as well but I haven't received a notification that the prescription is ready. So, I'll wait on that. Okay, I'll see you on the flip side. Excellent question. We know he wants to close the border. We know he doesn't like Ukrainian what? president. Welcome to Starbucks, what can I get started for you? Hi, I'm picking up an order for Nicole J. I have that for you. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Hey, it's me. 
looking crazy, feeling crazy. I'm here because I told you I would be. <laughs> and uh, here, let me do this. This is how I hide. I put on these. They're prescription, but they're big enough to hide behind. You'd be like, are those dark circles around your eyes? Oh, no, no. That's just, um, you know, it's just a glare. <laughs> it's just a glare. I feel crazy. Like, legit nut house crazy at the moment. Um, there's a lot that needs to happen. And, hey, Google, set an alarm for three minutes from now. You got it. Your alarm set for 11.20 a.m. Okay. Okay, I had to wait for it to stop. Otherwise, it would be listening to what I say and it might be trying to talk to me or do things and I didn't want that to happen. So, I had it set a timer because I have to make this short and sweet. I got a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff to do today. And I got to start with renewing my passport. I don't even, I can't remember if I told you this or not, but... This is something that I meant to do as soon as I got back to L.A. And I just got, you know, I just got swept up in the wave of all the other things that need to happen. And I need to do this today, right now, as soon as I finish filming. Because if I don't renew my passport, my passport has to have six months left on it before expiration. Or I can't go back into Mexico. And my passport is set to expire in May. And so... So that's problematic. So I gotta, I have to have it renewed. Um, and in my hand, no later than February 7th, or I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> or yeah, I gotta change my flight. I can't go to Mexico with no passport or a passport without six months on it. So that has to happen. Um, my sister is my uh, my assistant. And you know, I, I know those of you who've been watching, you already know this. But um, I, yeah, I've been getting some new followers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, she is my virtual assistant. She lives in Illinois, and she just finished her last radiation treatment today for endometrial cancer. Um, we just texted a little bit. She has to drive. She and her husband drive, like, I think it's an hour and a half away to get to the facility. So she's on her way home now. They're both on, on their way home. And she's not feeling great, which... Which is to be expected, you know. You're, you're sore. You're you're really, really, really tired. Like to the point where you're like, I just, I, like, I just need to close my eyes for for five minutes, and then you've slept for six hours. So, that's all to be expected. Um, I'm not giving her stuff to do right now. So, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When she feels better, I will probably in about a week. But. Um, but right now it is, this is the all Nicole show and I'll see where I am in a week. It should be much better in here, but there's some things that are not related to packing or moving or organizing that need to happen immediately. This uh, love sack sofa. Oh no, that was three minutes. Hey Google. Stop. That was too soon. Okay. Anyway, I, I got a blanket over it because I don't want nothing happening to it. Look at all this mess. Look at, you know what? Y'all seen junk before. So, um, yeah, it's got to go. The good thing is that a lot of other items that I have available, uh, friends are like, is this available? Like my, my treadmill is going to, going to sell. I have a couple trunks that are going to sell. The bed's going to sell. The car is going to sell. Um, the dresser. In my bedroom is gonna sell what else I have an idea for the paintings like the paintings some of those I'm particularly close to but two people have asked me for um, two of the paintings so and yeah I just I haven't had a chance to list clothes that I want to sell um, or list I got to get this sofa on offer up. I have to list it. And, and Facebook Marketplace. There's there's no question. I have to. This has to sell. If it doesn't sell, I ain't putting nothing in storage. I'm not. I'm not. 
I may have to ask a friend to to like store it for me. And the good thing about it is that it is it's called the, the sectional because it's love sack, but it's really like a sectional, and in all possible ways. Like it has storage in it. It's got um, I can just break it down completely, stack it up, and put all the pieces in a corner of somebody's house. So so uh, that may have to happen. Uh, uh, that may have to happen. But I'm not trying to have that happen, but if push comes to shove, I'm going to tell you something. I've been in here wondering how people do this. Like, how do people do this? And some people do it and they got, you know, big houses and they got, I got a one bedroom apartment, a cute one bedroom apartment. It's stuffed to the gills. Yes, but I'm one person with one bedroom. When people have huge houses or whatever, I, I really think they must just say, you know what? To hell with all this! <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put everything out on the front lawn. Like I, I don't know how else other than having a storage space to tackle this, because um, I can't take it with me. I can't take it with me. All right, that's where I am today. Pray for me, please, because I'm feeling a little crazy. Really, I got to do this passport. I have to. What else do I have to do? I have an appointment today to get my uh, wrists looked at. One has been injured. I injured it on set years ago. I had to go through a lawsuit. Um, it just settled. And uh, I've been overusing the other hand, trying to favor this wrist that's been injured. And now it, it's bothering me. So I'm, I'm going to the place where I go and get physical therapy. I'm taking them my, my MRI films from last year and they can advise me and whether I get treatment. I don't know if I can get treatment here. I don't think I have time. Um, I'll have to find a rehab center in Playa del Carmen. Uh, what else was I going to tell? Oh yeah, I had my mammogram yesterday. Already got the results. Everything looks good. But at the end of this month, I'm going to see the surgeon uh, not the surgeon who did my surgery, my lumpectomy surgery, but her her business partner. Or, well, at least they're in the office together. I don't know. I don't know the association with each other. <laughs> don't give me the line. Um, so I go see her, and she just makes, make you know, gives me the official uh, answer to, you know, is, is everything okay in there? And, and she'll examine me as well. And then, listen... That's on January 31st. If things ain't much better in here, like almost done by January 31st, I think I just, I'm just going to put everything on the lawn and set fire to it. <laughs> so pray for me, please. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.